because uh, I think Singapore is very much um, English speaking and I only can speak Chinese and English so I'm sorry <laughs> so I've been brought up that way and yeah but I would definitely love to try singing Malay She's been slipping back and forth. Uh, actually, my favorite band in Indonesia is GAC. Ah. Yeah, Kamal actually came down to Singapore to watch one of my shows. Uh, I listened to a lot of the band when I was younger. Oh. Yeah, but that's only about the two that I know. Yeah, 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 we follow each other. <laughs> I, I was a big fan, so when I saw him, I was like, <laughs> the song was actually written for uh, Major Tom in That was supposed to represent the whole independence of Singapore and how it grew from, from a fishing village to the city. And the, the way I wrote the song was, was coming from the point of view of like the new generation and how how the older generation has set the path to us and, and allowed Singapore to grow so much and it's, and it's up to us now, the younger kids, to try to take over and, and, and make change in, in, in our country. Yeah. So it's very much like an anthem for, for us kids in a way. Yeah, I wrote the, I wrote the song in the lyrics and everything. So yeah, I write, most, I write all my songs on my own. So it's quite a laborious, it's quite a tiring process. But I like, I like creating a lot, I like going to studios, I like singing the harmonies, I like setting up the instruments, I like inviting people down to the studio, getting my producers, that's the fun stuff for me. It's a very long story, but in Singapore, uh, the name Tuol and the surname Tai is abundant. <laughs> so if you search it up on Facebook, like Tuol Tai Music or something, you get probably get 10,000. Search option. So I decided that I needed to come up with something interesting so that people could go to search for my name. And I, stuck, I chose Jet Post. So it was like 17 and I kind of stuck with it. Yeah. Yeah, I guess the only the special meaning when I was 17 when I chose that name, I quite liked it that like Gentle and Bones doesn't really link to each other. Like doesn't, nobody ever says Gentle and Bones after. So I quite like the whole unsettling nature of the name. And I kind of describes me as a person as well because I enjoy doing music but I'm not so much a fan of the whole like um, celebrity culture you know yeah so yeah so I guess it kind of stuck yeah. I'm not a, I'm not very keen on that kind of stuff I just prefer people listening to my music and actually feeling for it and as long I don't need to know whether you listen to it but as long as you like it and, and it affects and it kind of represents a certain part of your life and you can go back and say, oh I was 17 and, I, and that was a song of my year that's good enough for me. Yeah. First time we'd smile. Hi, hopefully, yeah.